It's time to kick Google Analytics to the curve. No, it's not user friendly. And unless you are a website expert, you won't understand most of the things that they're going to provide you. Yes, it's powerful and free, but it's not user friendly. I'm going to show you one that's way more user friendly and it's on a lifetime deal right now. It's called Site Behavior. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Site Behavior and we're going to get a ton of information of what's going on on your website. Now, when I mentioned that this is a Google Analytics alternative is because it's super easy to use and you have everything at a clear glance of what's going on. It's way easier than using Google Analytics. The downside is that Google Analytics is free, obviously, and this one is on a lifetime deal. But the benefits is that it's super easy to use and you will take advantage of the analytics instead of having a lot of information out there that you don't understand. In this case, it's going to be super easy. And right now, as I mentioned, it's on a lifetime deal. So if you want to grab it, the link we provided in the description. This one starts off at $49 for a lifetime deal and you get access to install this on unlimited websites. The limit comes when it comes to the total visits per site. So for example, tier one that's $49 for the lifetime deal gets you access to 20,000 visits per month. So if you have a website that has a ton of visits, this is not the license tier for you. You'll need to jump into tier two, three, or all the way up to seven. But let's just say that you have 10, 20 websites and they don't get a lot of traffic, 1,000, 5,000 visits, then you're probably good with tier one. You don't need to spend a lot. But if you want to be future proof, I recommend that you check out tier two or all the way up to seven. And remember, that's a lifetime deal. And if you don't like it, you have 60 days to test it out and refund it if it doesn't fit your needs. Now, understanding site behavior is super easy. And before I show you how it works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. Now they have affordable shared hosting plans and they're really affordable right now with their Black Friday sale. Currently, the shared hosting plans are really affordable and with my coupon code, the price is gonna drop even more. So for example, this business plan, I'm going to choose it. And the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, the price is gonna drop even lower than what it said before. So now it's $127 with 44 cents for four years paid. I mean, that's affordable, right? So use my coupon code if you wanna grab a hosting plan at Hostinger, right? So site behavior. Now, let me show you quick, quickly how the analytics work. So first off, we have the dashboard where we get a quick overview of everything that's going on on this particular website. So you can add several websites, as I mentioned before, and this is the one I have selected right now. So at, at a glance, we're able to view the visits, the users, the activity duration. So the average duration of the activity of the people who have visited the website, the bounce rate, that means people who are jumping in and jumping away from your website really quickly. That means that they long, don't like the content, Maybe that wasn't what they liked, et cetera, and they go away. That's a bounce rate. The average page visit. So the average pages that they visit on your website, 1.8 in this case. Field interaction. That means that they're interacting with the fields on your website, like uh, forums, et cetera. And this has, for example, by two visitors. Uh, rage clicks. That means that someone is clicking on an element with rage because something is not working. So you definitely need to take care of that and see what they are clicking on to fix it, right? Then we have a visits by, over, by the time here top pages that are visited, the countries that they are visiting, in this case, Mexico, that's where I'm from, uh, top sources, devices used, which is really great to know, especially if you are a website developer, an app developer, you want to know who is visiting your website, what devices they are using, okay? Top clicks, the browsers, and the user navigation by a map. So it helps you understand how it flows when they are visiting your website. You can also create boards to view your analytics in the way you want. So not in a way where you have everything on the dashboard, just the only things that feel that you are, that are important for you. Okay. You can also create charts with kind of the same, uh, as boards, I would say, but you can create funnels from here. For example, in this case, I have a funnel built here where if they jump into a certain page and go to a next page, that means that it's going to complete the funnel. So in this case, from the four users, only one person jump into the next section. And it's super easy to build these funnels. So in this case, 75% hit, well, dropped in this case. They didn't, they didn't follow the funnel. And it helps me know because if they dropped at a certain stage, that means that something is wrong with my website. Maybe I'm not providing the security that I should uh, give my customers or viewers, etc., and they just go away. They don't go through the payment process, for example, okay? You can also view replays, so recordings of people visiting the website and what they are doing. You understand what they're actually looking at. So if they're going into products, jumping to a section, viewing the description of a product or skipping that section, 
maybe you want to know what's working and what's not working. So you can view the replace here, right? Heat maps is going to show you with heat, with red, yellow, etc. It show you where the people are actually are the most. Okay. Then you have a feedback section. You can enable a feedback option where clients can jump into your website and this little feedback is going to pop up. If you click on it, you can give a rate experience here. I can say just test and send the feedback. And it's just super easy to add that feedback because I've already added the code. I just need to enable it here, right? Then we're able to view the data for visitors. So just every single visitors know what they are doing here, right? The events again, kind of same as visitors, but this one is for events. So what is going on in the events by detail here and integrations right now, they don't have any integrations. This one is coming soon, but basically that is site behavior. It's just super easy to use. Everything is just straightforward to start using it right away by adding the code to your website. So if you're looking for something that's more user friendly than Google Analytics, and it's not too expensive because if you pay this for a lifetime deal, I definitely think it's not expensive. So you should definitely consider. Now, remember, there's a 60 day money guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. So if you do plan to grab it, use my link in the description. And that's a wrap.